I've been, you know, uh, vegan for a long time now. That's massively helped me, uh, you know, yeah, uh, make, make my body healthy and just feel a consistent flow of energy throughout the day. So I, for me, that's been a really good uh, change. You know, I remember how I used to feel when I was eating all kinds of stuff that <laughs> I don't eat anymore. Not just meat and dairy, but just, you know, a lot of crap that just really not paying attention, you know, eating chips and yeah. candy and, you know, just all kinds of, which I still do occasionally. I'm just way more careful with it, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, so it's just, you know, the biggest advice is that is just kind of be aware that your body is, you know, needs care when you do this. Not indestructible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, um, I know, yeah, I knew you were a vegan and it's something I, I think we're three years. I've been vegan for three years. Oh, cool. So, um, but I've, I've noticed a massive change. Like, it, it's difficult to explain, isn't it? For when you go from eating meat and dairy and stuff, you kind of get used to how you feel with that, but it, it's not until you stop putting all that stuff in your, in your body that you realize, ah, oh, I can actually feel quite good every day. <laughs> and, yes. and yeah, and when yeah. you write you write about energy levels and, and digestion and things like that, it's, it's like my, like I think people think I'm making it up a lot. So it's great to talk to you about this publicly because obviously people who are not vegans or whatever or vegetarians or whatever, a lot of them kind of think maybe don't take it so seriously in terms of the health benefits of it. Um right. And I know, and I know, not everyone is vegan for that reason, which you know, or, or plant based, or whatever the other term they use, or whatever. But um, yeah, I I definitely feel a hundred percent more than well, if more than a hundred percent better every single day, um, mm. just from not eating that stuff. And you know, I'm yeah. not saying I try not to talk like we don't talk about it a lot on the podcast. But I think you're probably my first guest vegan, maybe. So thank you. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, great. it's great. Yeah, so you know, I'm still, I guess, fairly early in 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 it. But I, you know, I'm I've been dedicated to it, and you know, my band members are always cool on the road, and we always trying to make sure there's some stuff on the rider and things like that. But it's it's kind of being the only one is hard. So I don't know if you've been in that situation or whether you've been in bands with when other members are eating the same stuff as you. I guess makes it easier. But um, that's the the difficult thing for me is the traveling aspect. Sometimes you can. Certain countries yeah. maybe haven't caught on as well as other countries, and when you, you're stuck, you're stuck at a petrol station or a gas station or whatever, and there's literally nothing apart from potato chips or whatever or, or Oreos, and like yeah, that stuff isn't isn't good, but you know you can have a little bit, can't you? You can have a little right. bit. Yeah. That could definitely be tricky as a story musician, you know. But uh, I'm glad to hear you're you're vegan as well, man. Because for me, it's like. You know, look, nobody wants to be told what to do, right? And no. I'm the first person I'll say that, you know, like, don't tell yeah. me what to do or I'll do the opposite. You know, I still have that kind of like ingrained in me from my youth, I guess, like this rebel attitude. Oh, you want me to do that? Fuck you, you know. Well, so I think, I'm, I like, think I'm everyone has around. that. Yeah, exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm not running around preaching and telling people what they should do, but what yeah. I found is that, um, you know, just doing it has inspired more people than I can probably think of right now to, to switch their eating habits to become either vegetarian or even vegan, you know, which, which is mind-blowing because, again, I don't walk around preaching about it. For me, it's very much, you know, the reasoning behind it for me is very much militant. It's very much nothing to do with health, actually. I'm very much against factory farming and yeah. the way we treat the planet and animals. I'm, I'm 100% radically against that. Like, yeah, me too. I can get pretty heated about that if, if somebody challenges that part of it. Because I'll be like, no, that's just wrong in my view. Yeah. But and that's so that's my reason why I went towards that. The health benefits are just this, like you described, this beautiful bonus of like, wow, I feel a trillion times better. My energy is consistent. My body feels healthy. I can I can play drums way better than I used to. You know, it's, it's amazing. And it's not supposed to be the case since I'm older. I'm supposed to struggle more, and it's actually easier for me now than it used to be. You know? So that's that's crazy. But. Um, but yeah, you know, just doing it can inspire change and just showing people because a lot of people are, are intrigued by it and then they'll start asking you questions. You know, it kind of happened with Kiko that way. Kiko is pretty much, I wouldn't say he's like full on vegan per se, but 90% of 
Yeah. That's interesting. So, okay. And that happened because after I joined the band, and I was vegan at the time, and I had just started actually before that, I was vegetarian. Okay. Just started cutting out there just with all the options that are available now. It's like it's easy, you know. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so he started asking me about it, and so how do you get your protein, and how do you this and that, and you know, I started trying it, and like let me try this, let me try that, and now he's like on the road eating tofu and tempeh and lots of vegetables, and I'm like, wow, like. You know, this is without me ever saying, you know, you should consider being vegan. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's that's interesting actually, because yeah, I think people people have probably seen the odd meme online, or they've been told to watch this movie, and I think it's difficult to get people to kind of watch movies because that was the thing that really made me say I'm going to make this change. I mean, like me and my wife did it together. We we're like, we really want to do this, don't we? And we were like, yeah, we we need to try it. And but it was the it was the movies that really made us do it and um but yeah i think people are there's there's an element of people that are not interested at all which is fine and then there's there's a i guess a small population of people that kind of feel like it probably is the best thing to do i wouldn't know where to start um it seems like it's going to be too much of a change it's going to be too hard or so i think yeah i think this people learning that other people around them are doing it and they find it easy, makes them try things and yeah, just ask you, yeah, ask questions and like, it's never been easier to do. Obviously it's, it's becoming, you know, every, every couple of months, like my supermarkets are being filled up with more new stuff that didn't exist before. Um, and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, especially in, in the, in the U S and the UK and I think Germany is pretty easy. Um, I don't know about the rest of Europe in comparison, um, but yeah, it's it's never been easier. But anyway, let's not talk about veganism anymore. <laughs> I don't want people to switch <laughs> off. But uh, yeah, give it a you know, it's all good. But yeah, it's nice to talk to another human about it, another drummer about it as well.